Hi everyone! I thought I'd share with you a couple of the new titles we just got in. Um, I put in a new adult order last week, so we have plenty of new books. This is just going to be a couple of them. There's a new historical fiction book called Children of the Stars by Mario Escobar. It's set during World War II, so if you're a big World War II fan, this is a new one. Um, two young Jewish brothers living with their aunt in Paris amid the Nazi occupation. A, a story of escape, sacrifice, and hope amid the perils of the Second World War. So, you could get that one. Um, if you're more of a sci-fi fan, Doors of Sleep by Tim Pratt. When he falls asleep, he goes into different worlds. And then if he's holding on to someone when he falls asleep, they can join him. So it's kind of like Doctor Who, it sounds like, where he goes into all these different worlds with people. Um, and then there's someone who starts trying to follow along with him and kind of use his skills and abilities. So that's kind of fun, especially if you do like Doctor Who, it sounds similar. If you liked Bird Box, Josh Mallerman wrote a new book, A House at the Bottom of the Lake. It's a very, it sounds just like Bird Box where it's horror. Um, but not set in the same world or anything. It's just a short little book, but they say it's expertly conjures a fairy tale nostalgia of first love, ignoring the warning signs even as the fear takes hold. So it sounds nice and creepy. If you like Iris Johansson's series, we have the new one in her Kendra series called Blink of an Eye. If you liked Cersei, which I know Becky did a book club of, there's A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. And it's the story of the women of Troy and kind of just rewriting that a little bit. So that sounds really, really good too. And then there's A Dance in Donegal by Jennifer Diesel. And um, it's another historical fiction book, uh, 1920s. Maura is compelled to fulfill her mother's dying wish, become a teacher in Ballymen, the beloved village in Donegal, Ireland, which she's heard so much about. So she journeys there in her story. It sounds interesting. So that's just a couple of the new fiction books. If you want to know more, I'll put up a couple of more videos of some mystery and large print and nonfiction. There's also a list on our website. So if you go to www.syracuse.lib.in.us, there's a new materials tab. Thanks.